Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Um, hope you're all doing okay. Welcome back to any new to any returning subscribers and welcome to any new subscribers. I do appreciate all your support and hopefully now that I'm not going to be working Mondays from today. Today is Monday the what date is it? Oh today is the seventh so of June. So from today onwards I won't be working Mondays anymore and I'm really really happy about that so I'm hoping that the Mondays will be the day when I'll be able to schedule some YouTube videos so that um, I make my channel a bit more interesting if possible. So today I think we're on episode 9 of the Peacock Journal and I wanted to do a bit of mod podging with some serviettes. So I thought we'd just have a look at the papers for the journal first. So the papers are now a mixture of mainly Calico Collage's Spring Journal, Peacock Journal, but mine's not going to be called the Spring Peacock Journal because obviously we're coming out of spring now into summer. Um, and we've got some pages with, from Janie B's Peacock Kit and also Victoria Design's Proud Peacock Kit with some extra ephemera um, in the form of journal cards and bookmarks by Digital Mandragora. So I, I kind of made the first page myself. Um, not too sure I liked it. I've made a pocket out of wired peacock ribbon here, but I made a pocket here and I've stamped or stenciled it. And I've done a bit of collaging up here and the back page is the same more or less but I'm not too sure I like these high pockets so what I thought I'd do out of the kit out of Calico Collage's kit I think these are out of Calico Collage's kit I thought I'd cut out this peacock and have the word peacock over here so it just takes away from that pocket but you can still see the stenciling behind and then on the back page, I'm just going to pop those in there because I'll be thinking about that as to whether I'm going to or not. I'm going to cut out this lovely peacock fan and by the same token have that and maybe this phrase down here from Calico Collage's kit called Refuse to be Ordinary, which I thought would be lovely. And that would just take that to another level, I think. So I'm just going to put those in there because I don't want to do that at the moment. So we'll have a quick flick through. So this I thought would be the first page. Then I've stenciled um, a doily pattern on here. And we've got a kit page from a Calico Collages kit. Backed onto another of her lovely kit pages. A nice doily. This is a fussy cut. Not fussy cut. It's a... Um, it's made with a die, die cut, die cut doily from a pack that I bought online, but I like the colours. This is a digital page. Uh, again, I like the colours and the kind of leaf design in the background. And this is, I think this is out of a pack I bought on eBay of different papers. This is out of Victoria Designs. Proud peacock kit this side, and it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. This is out of Calico Collage's kit. Then we have a coffee dyed doily, which I did myself, it turned out okay. Then another piece out of um, Victoria Designs kit, which is beautiful, kind of creamy damask pattern. And this, this, which I believe this is actually Janie B kit and look at this colour it's absolutely gorgeous so I mean at the moment I don't know if these pages are going to stay in the same order uh, we'll have to see so that's out of Calico Collage's kit and the back page and the back page had a board around it I didn't want to cut any more off of this page on the other side so I stenciled around this with the pine needle distress ink and then mirrored it on the back on the other side 
with the chip sapphire just to cover that border up then we've got some dictionary page and i've just stamped feather peacock feathers then we've got some book page here and we've got this pea which i thought could stand for peacock and i'm going to make that into a side tuck pocket kit page backed onto more kit page some tea dyed paper i think was out of a pack i bought might have been from tanya at tatty treasure because she uses Rubush, red bush tea it comes out a nice peachy color kit page and um, backed with the same kit page a page out of the um flower fairy book you know stamped a peacock on there more kit page this is a digital page uh, I don't know, it could have been out of one of Janie B's mystery bundles I bought from her. It's more of um, Calico Collage's kit page. Again, this is a one-off. Um, this could be out of the mystery bundle as well. I'm not sure both sides of that page, not sure. More kit page, some more tea dyed paper. Um, I had attempted to stamp a peacock on there in a lovely gold ink, but it's broken up a little bit, but I didn't think it was too bad. You know, you can see that it's a peacock, so I think we'll probably leave that. Some tea coffee dyed lined paper, which again I've already stamped on. This is a page out of the 180 page paper pack called is it heritage pack and on the back of this i have did a bit of distress inking in the green and then stenciled over it in blue with a lovely bird there i think that is a hummingbird so i like that this is out of janie b's kit that's a nice cream and that backing page so I thought they all went well. Then we've got another one of these die cut um, doilies. And then we carry, that's the centre page at the moment. And then we're going to carry on. So we've already put a nice flip out on this page. So this flips out on the back is a tuck with a nice journal card. This is made out of a glassine bag. And in here we've got a nice card and then tag rather and then we've got two journaling cards in the side here already so that was just a one-off piece i did that was inspired by hmm, i think it was pink monarch prints actually so that's the other side of that arty page that i did and that and we just carry on now we've got the same pages so the other side of the kit pages another one with the stamped peacock on that's got the impression of kind of lace on it where i dyed it with a um, piece on top just experimenting so these are just all the rest of the kit pages so what i want to do today is i want to so i'm just flipping through them as i talk I want to do some mod podging on one of the pages with um, a peacock serviette that I have. I absolutely love that colour, I really do. But I've got to make sure that's in the right place. Now it does kind of mirror this blue, so we'll see. And there's our doily and the other side of that lovely paper and that one. And this and then that's the back again that there is the front and that's the back of that piece i made right so let's have a look and see what page shall we do some mod podging on has to be fairly robust piece of paper because mod podging can be can cause the paper to wrinkle up um don't try it on um vellum because it just all just immediately curls up now this is this is a nice this digital page 
I think we'll take that out, put that to one side now, and we're going to use this and see how we get on. So I've mixed up my Mod Podge. I've done two parts Mod Podge to one part water, just to thin it down a bit. So you don't need a great deal of it. Don't make up a whole pot full unless you're doing a whole big batch of of um, Mod Podging. Um, like decoupage they call it so this is the lovely serviette i'm using now these have three layers the, this particular one so what you want to do is you want to take your top layer off so you start by getting a, a finger that will um, stick to the back of this so that you can get that first layer off so you essentially you're peeling off that very first layer and put that to one side and then this looks like this is done but it isn't because I know that there is another layer on it so one trick I use is I just put a bit of glue on, on my finger so that I can lift that layer, that top layer from that back layer so you can see that is very fine, the top layer. Okay, so I have been keeping these. I don't know why, I don't know what I might do with them, but I will keep them. So we're left with the top layer, which is very thin and see-through. So if I was to get a piece of book page, you would be able to see the book page through it like that. Okay, so that's one we've just peeled off. We'll put that to one side because this is one I've already done. I've already peeled off and I've got two quarters of it left. One quarter I've already mod podged over this book page here. And uh, it doesn't actually look straight, but what we'll do is we may back this and use this as a journal card. So we will trim it down. So that's the idea um, for those pieces. So you can Mod Podge and decoupage onto anything, anything at all, any book page, any pages like this. <clears throat> and then you can cut round them, make them. Or you can just cut out a piece, Mod Podge, just a piece of this. So I'm just going to get my watercolour pen I have a watercolour pen in my watercolour kit just bear with me I'll just get that off the shelf and this is this is a little travel watercolour kit I've had it years because I used to I used to do quite a bit of watercolours many years ago and this is a pen and you and you fill it with water like this is quite messy as you can see it's well used we don't need that part of it but what you can do is you can use the water so you take the lid off take the cap off like so it's a bit stiff and wind your lid on with your brush on the end it's got a little brush on the end and then we can take some water out of there so i'm just going to wipe that down so i don't want that on my page just going to get a wipe i should, I should have some wet wipes still in my drawer okay i'm just going to wipe where did i put it which is just wipe that paint off like so so we don't want to and I'll just test a bit on there that's fine so you'll see what I'm going to use that for in a second because I only want I only want a piece of this I don't want the whole doily um doily the whole serviette on here so what I'd like to do is go round this peacock and have him down the side of this page like that so 
there's my fold for the middle of the page so I'm just going to bring him over a little bit so I get all of his beautiful majestic tail in so we're going to Mod Podge around this area so to start off with we take a Mod Podge and I'm going to cover a nice layer on the area that I want to cover with that piece of serviette so I don't want to cover the whole page you don't want to make the paper too wet either it can be quite a messy messy job okay so put that down and put that one to one side I don't want to get all mixed up with that one so I'm gently going to put this down where I see the crease on my page like this and I'm going to smooth him down like this and then I'm going to take my water pen and I'm just going to go round him so that I can take away the excess serviette like so that I don't want on the page like so and do the same down here so we just it allows you just to gently tear it because otherwise it can be quite tricky to to tear off just makes it nice easy way of doing it and then you can just keep taking off what you don't want but I just want an impression of him in the corner like so take that edge off there on the fold so just check my fold like that okay that's fine okay so now I take my Mod Podge and I am giving it another coat very very gently now you don't want this Mod Podge too thin but equally you don't really want it too thick so we're just going to mod podge around those edges like this and just make sure that it's totally covered the more you rub over it with the brush, even if you're gentle, the more you're likely to take this up off the page. So I just want to use my nail, I'm going to, just to take away those rough edges there like that. Be very careful. And it looks a bit messy at the moment, but it will dry. And it makes a nice little impression on that page. Like that. So that's going to be left to dry. And I don't want these now, these bits. It's up to you if you keep them or not. And with the other piece. Um don't know that I want to mirror the same thing on the other side so maybe we'll have him up there on that side so we've got it on both sides and then what I'm going to do is stencil around here with a nice light stencil when it's dry just to give um, a bit of interest on that page but I also want to keep 
a few pages for journaling on so I don't want to cover everything up so I'm going to go down there with my pen to tear off that edge like so just so that I've got it how I want it before I mod podge the page you can do it either way really so I think we'll have this one with a bit of flower interest okay so that's better now I want to I want to take the edge off this one straight edge because I didn't on that one but I want to on this one because it's not down at the edge of the page whereas the other one was so I'm just going to make sure that you've got a surface that um, you can wipe clean afterwards really so I'm just making that taking off the jagged edges of that and a bit more here it's very very delicate I, I know that some people don't use Mod Podge, don't have to. Some people use other mediums. So that's just a bit of water, that's not going to hurt. So um, we could also just put it down and Mod Podge over it. So we try that one for this one, just so that you can see the different ways. So you've got it in position where you want it. I'm just going to put my book page down because I may need to give this a bit of a thicker coat for the, the first time. You've got to make sure that you haven't got any like creases in it. And once you've started mod podging it, it's hard to manipulate it really. So that's why I like to mod podge the page first really, because um, I can lay it flat then and then I can go over it with a second coat. So I have to try and push out any wrinkles with my brush as gently as I can. Give it all a coat. And when it dries, it will be quite crackly paper. It will be stiff, but it, it just adds a nice extra dimension to your page. And then you can make journal cards you can mod podge tags you know okay so that's I'm, I'm pleased with that so I'm not going to do any more so that's my double page and I've mod podged my peacock napkin on serviette which I have split down three layers taken off the two layers at the back and just had the top layer which is very fine and delicate now it doesn't look much at the moment because it's all wet so I'm going to leave that to one side to dry and then we'll be able to have a look at it afterwards. So I just want to, I think that needs just a tiny bit more there. And then you'll see what it's like when it dries. And I will dry that now for at least 24 hours, I think. I'll put it on the windowsill to dry. So that's that. So we'll put the Mod Podge out of the way. Give our desk a quick rub over. Like so. And let's have a look at this front page. I'm just going to take that off now. And I just want to have a look at 
my idea. So I thought, where is that word? It's down in the pocket. Right, so I'm going to fussy cut this out as best I can. It's got very, very thin little legs, actually. So I'm just wondering whether to just go round it and leave a little border like so because there's no way I can fussy cut those legs. It's a bit like butterfly antennae. You have to leave a little board around them usually unless you're extremely clever. And then there's the chance that they may snap off when you actually try to stick them down. And he's got a bit of sort of feathery bits coming out of his feathers at the end as well, which is quite nice. So I'm going to... I will just cut round there, cut out some of that. Like so. Okay. And that's him done. And I think we'll we will kind of cut round this peacock. I don't like to have a, a straight piece. I like to sort of cut round the words or the letters, just generally, not specifically, you know, like that. Okay. Okay, so we will ink round it, I think, in this chip sapphire. Um, I'm still manually using the pads because I haven't got my new dobber yet. Yeah. I've ordered a pack of two this time and they are, I think they should be delivered today, but I'm not sure. Okay, so you will see this video on uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, hopefully, if I can get, get it uploaded, fine. So I've just outlined that and I don't want to go mad with backing things but I've backed that lovely glittery webbing I've used there so we'll use a bit of that down here just just get that out so this is like the other webbing but it's glittery and you can actually get that webbing in different colors and this one too I think so we don't need all of that. So we're going to cut that down like so. And we just put pop that over here like that. And I think that just finishes this pocket off and makes me think that it's not silly you know i mean obviously i'm gonna have something in here a nice journal card and maybe we'll make that out of this we could do that today and then we want something in here too so we don't want anything too bulky on here so i get the art glitter glue out oh there's something satisfying i think about pulling the gloopy end off of a glue bottle <laughs> uh, little things please little minds they say <laughs> oh do you know i can't believe that i don't have to work today and that it's actually not it's not annual leave because <clears throat> when it's annual leave it's different i think because you know you've only got like that day and or a few days and you're trying to sort of fit everything in and we're just going to pop that down as it is so i don't think it's really sunk in that i won't be going to work on a monday anymore you're probably fed up with hearing now that i don't have to go to work on a monday so so I think that just finishes off that pocket and it's not so glaring to me. So that's that side. So let's have a look at this side. So this side we had this peacock fan. So again, I'm going to try and 
fussy cup round it. I think what I didn't like in the end about this pocket that I made was the stenciling part because the stenciling didn't come out brilliant. Not how I wanted it to. And rather than start again and use that card just as backing card for something else, I just carried on. Let's take that corner off to match the other side like that. And then I like that refuse to be ordinary. So let's ink round this one in the blue. Yes, I'm going to have permanently inky fingers and hands from using this sponge manually. When I bought the first dog, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm absolutely sure that I bought another dogger. But it's not in my drawer of equipment, so I can't think where else it's likely to be. So I just must have been mistaken, I think. So I'm going to have the peacock fan there and we're going to have this, so we're going to have that as up in that corner and have this here, I think, like so. And we're going to use some of this again. I don't want too much. We want enough so we can see. But it's on there. I'll just take those corner bits off. So we have this down here like this. And I want to put the glue on the page, sometimes it's easier. And you can see through this webbing, so you can see where you need to be. And then some on the back of here. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Weather was good on the whole. Today looks a bit overcast. I've put a whole line of washing out and then I thought, oh God. Yeah, I hope that's, um, I think we'll have the fan on the side like that. I thought, oh, I hope that it's not going to rain because I've, you know, got things out, a whole line full of things. took Harry to school this morning he had swimming first thing so I think he was okay about going back so I'm much happy with this page now I love that I like that inside it's just very simple but effective and this is a nice journaling page so we've got to make a nice big card for in there and, an, and a nice big card for in there so I'm very happy with that now I think it's just an unusual page. But I think, you know, the pages don't always have to be kit pages. So I think Paddy's about to start growling. So please accept my apologies if he does. So you can hear neighbour talking. Oh, I was just having some of my water. That's lovely and refreshing. Okay. Okay, let's think. Shall we make a nice journal card out of this? Find some card to back it on. Let's put that to one side. And I do have a piece of card here. Now I'm thinking that maybe rather than waste too much of the card, I'm going to stand up and we're just going to cut this down. So we want to cut these edges off. 
first of all, I don't think that's straight. No, it isn't. I, that's one good thing about book page. You can see from the lines of writing whether it's straight or not. So now let's see. In the next episode we do, I want to tackle <laughs> the thing I've been putting off. And that is the front cover. I don't know why. I've been putting it off, but I I, know, I I can honestly say I I have. Let's just see now. Just is that going to be good size? Oh, perfect! Look, I might just shave a tiny bit more off of this side. I don't like them to be a tight fit in the pockets. So I'm just checking that it's straight on the back because so I can tell from the back. So I love this because you can see the book page through it. So it's lovely. So it would be lovely to decoupage some music paper and things like that. And I have got lots of serviettes. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not perfect at it, but I want to practice this. So this is just plain piece of quite thick card that obviously won't go in the printer so I'm just using it for backing okay so I think let me sit down again excuse my noisy chair and let's let's give this a glue round I did this one yesterday. I thought I have a practice with it because I haven't done any for such a long time. Um, I think there are other methods actually. I think you can use glue. I think now, have I seen it? Might be Dee Dee Farago that I've seen using a glue stick. You know, just find a way that suits you and probably start small and, and hopefully you know you'll enjoy doing it so um, I'm going to stick that right up in the top corner of this card and this is lovely it feels really nice it's got a really rough surface it's because the Mod Podge does dry up hard not hard but well lovely it's really nice very tactile that is and then we'll just cut round this I think cut that piece off and that will be handy for a tag I'm feeling a bit better about this peacock journal now it you know I don't know why I've had such a I don't know what you call it. It's kind of a mental block on it, really. Um, I'm going to use the green. So this is pine needle, but it's a lovely green. Sort of a bluey green, really. So I'm just going to distress around the edges because, as you can see there, you can see that white card. Well, it's not white card. It's a lovely cream card. But you can see that. So we're just going to cover that edge up mainly. Oh, I must say I feel very relaxed. I've taken Paddy Dog out. We had a nice run round. I let him off the lead and he... And never does this with me. Um, he, we always say to him when I let him off leave, come back when I call you every every time. And he knows, he knows, and he does. And today he ran, he ran around. He goes absolutely mental, bombing around this area where we walk. And he suddenly headed straight for the exit and went out. And then it goes out onto our little circular estate. We, we only have a small estate. 
there's about 30 houses I think there are and um, so you can go right the way round and he just went left and I thought and I go up that way and round because we live that side of it I thought oh my goodness me he's gone off his and I, I never saw anybody never heard anything but it, whether he heard that cat whether he saw a cat I don't know he just went off so I thought I'm not going to panic and start running out and calling him so I just when I when I want him to come I just say bye 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 and I just walk in the opposite direction and he usually comes bombing over to me and then sits and waits for his lead and I just carried on and I went bye and I carried on a bit further and I went bye and then suddenly he appeared and he came bombing up to me and have to say got a telling off and he um soon got his lead put back on so let's just have a look down i found my lovely bone fold this is my favorite one just give that a little press down in there because sometimes the glue sticks a bit and i'm just hoping this is not going to be too tall I don't think it is. I don't want to chop too much off of there because of his beautiful tail. That's what I wanted to capture. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I'm going to go with that, I think. And it would it would possibly no, I don't think it would look well in there. No, I think we'll go with it there so his head's peeking out. We need to we need to get a tab now to, to put on there. Yes, so we'll I'm just thinking whether to make a tab out of something rather than using a craft tab. Now would it look better if I rounded the corners? I think it might after I've inked round it. This is what I do all the time. Change my mind. Yeah, I like it better now. Much better. I'm very pleased with this and the way it turned out. So I'm hoping those pages will look as good. That is very nice, even if I do say so myself. Oh, let's get rid of these corners. They come out of my corner round and just drop onto your desk. That's much better. I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to make, I think, a little tab out of some cream, some of that card. So I have a strip here. Of card that was actually packaging which I've used to back tabs and that's, I'm just pull, pulling off a bit of paper I use so we could make a nice tab out of this so now I know that Dee Dee Farago makes them all the time just have to be careful because my fingers are a bit inky so I don't want to get so let's have a think how are we going to do this what we could do, I wonder whether we could make it out of a half circle. But we might have to do it singly. So maybe we'll just use, well, it's only a bit I put in the bin anyway. So I was thinking like that and sticking two of those together, maybe slightly bigger. Well, we've got nothing to lose and everything to gain so if we do the next one at the side of that one we can roughly see where we did the first one well, let's see if they look what they look like because we can stick the packaging side together like so oh they're perfect and then my thought is we'd stick one that side and one that side and what we'll do is we use the green and we'll just 
stencil a bit on there so let me think what sort of stencil do I want I'll just get one out oh sorry that's my book I left a book down there I, I've got these draw shelves on the inside of my desk in the knee hole to the right hand side of the knee hole and I put all sorts of things on then sometimes when I'm a bit lazy if I'm tired after crafting I just pop things in there which is a bit naughty actually and we could use that one that's got a nice pattern we'll get that one out let's we'll see how to use that one recently or we could use our Script. I'm going to have to get a bigger box for these. This was a Christmas box. Okay, let's have a look. They're only tiny, so we bring back our bit of book page. So we want to glue them. So we want to do those two sides like this. And I think maybe as a contrast, we will do them in blue. So where's this piece now? If I put that down, that would be lovely. It might. I think that's the one we'll use. So that's going to pop back on top of the box. <laughs> I will sort everything out at the end of the video. <laughs> I will. I have time, don't I? I don't have any excuse today. So make sure we've got the right side. And we just want to pop that down on there, hold it down for a few seconds, and there. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like it. Now to do the same with this one. So I put them next to each other so that I can see. That one might be slightly higher up, but it's okay. There. Now, simple little thing like that, look, made out of a bit of packaging. And there we have our own homemade little tab. You see, you don't have to have fancy ones. I'm just going to edge that in there to finish that off. Like so. And then we're going to glue them. My hands are very gluey, messy. I have to think we don't want to cover up the peacock. We don't want it to look silly. So I'm, I'm wondering, let's put it back in, in here, in this pocket, like so, whether to have it on the side like that. Just going to dob that down over that to make that because that cream looks very stark and it's kind of a very light packaging cream so that's better that's better so I'm thinking maybe we have it on the side like that so whoever has the journal could pull it out or we could have it up here or here Is that going to look silly in the corner like that? Oh, what about if we have it in the corner like that? That's good. I think we'll do that. Right, I made a decision. I'm going to use a bit of um, Beacon 3-in-1 because it's very thick card. I'll take my wipe out of the bin just to get rid of that. So I want to... I'm on the end of here. And we're going to have it like that. And then we're going to put some on this side. It's got kind of this packaging, has got this bit has got a bit of um yellow gingham almost. 
I don't know what the packaging was now. I can't remember. Might have been an Easter egg package. I'm not sure. And I'm going to pop that down there. And make sure that is firmly pinched together. So I'm just going to hold that. Oh, actually, we don't need to hold it. We have a clip. I keep forgetting my clips that I'm... I bought because everyone else was using them <laughs> peer pressure it's funny when you see other people crafting and you see them using something like this and you think oh I could do with that so I could leave that on the end there and then I would just distress around that so yeah we we'll just distress around there when it's dry so that's that that's the journal card for the top pocket. You want a small card for this pocket. Now I've got a lot of the ephemera cut out. Some I've already backed, some I haven't. So I want to make sure I find one that I think is going to fit in. That's another peacock, so we don't potentially don't want another peacock there's the butterfly actually it's the same butterfly as up there do you think that is a bit too much might be um my mum i think that is the wrong color scheme and that one that's the top of a page that i decoupaged um, I thought I'd just keep it. Might be able to make something with that. Those are the clusters I made. They're in here. I have found this beautiful butterfly, which I cut off of a birthday card at one point. <laughs> and it's gorgeous. And I'm, I've put it in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. Now, that's quite nice. That is small enough, I think. Do we want a card or do we want a tag? See how indecisive I am today. I, have, I made a tag out of some of the kit paper. That's a big tag that was in the kit. Possible. Put that down as a possible, I think. Here's a nice piece. That's a bit tall. Well, here's some nice little, these are um, Mandragora, digital Mandragora, these are. I like these. Actually, I'm going to put that one in because it's not too tall. And we'll just back that one. So we we might use that one in the back keep that one out I don't know we might make another journal card in a minute so let's back this one and find a piece of find some card that we can use I've got all sorts of bits I've cut out. It's all Tanya at Tatty Treasure's fault because she does her Trash Tuesday. And now that piece is, is okay. I'll use that, I think. She does her Trash Tuesday. And although I'm, I'm working, so I can't sit down and do Trash Tuesday with her, I'm there in spirit. <laughs> and I have cut out all these bits various things tea boxes also we have pg tips and it's all lovely and white a uh, cream in there like that um oh yogurt pot that is yogurt pot oh some bars because i'm trying to lose weight slim fast bars they're absolutely gorgeous so it's a meal replacement bar oh this is the back of oh Coca-Cola, I think. Apple strudel. 
very naughty. Coca-Cola again. It's in that lovely colour. And various different um, cereal packets. Even a mashed potato. J2O. That, that's a, a gorgeous colour too on the back. That is really lovely. So thanks Tanya at Tata Treasure for your inspiration. Oh, I'm thinking actually for the front cover I know I said we'd do that on another video because my last video I intended to be very short my last um, TC 2021 no hashtag 2021 TCTC DD Farago challenge it was well over an hour and I couldn't believe it when I uploaded it I just I didn't seem like it was I was on for that long so I'm thinking one of these might go on the front. We don't know. <laughs> we're very unsure as to what we're going to put on the front. So I'm just going to take that piece off. We might be able to use that piece for a small tag. That's grubby. It's obviously some of the packaging is a bit grubby. We throw that away. We don't need that. I'm going to now you have to make sure you glue this is lamb moussaka so when i've been on my um diet as such i kind of do the meal replacement things and uh i sometimes buy my husband a couple of nice ready meals that he likes and he absolutely loves moussaka so morrison's do a very nice one so that's where this piece of cardboard came from his moussaka that he had at some point so i've managed to lose half a stone in two weeks so i'm very pleased with that but oh, i just find it really hard really hard okay so i just did that though squish down and cut round it these scissors I use I know lots of people using Tim Holtz scissors really fancy ones and they're quite expensive mine are just uh, we've had these set of um, scissors various sizes that you can buy anywhere really and we have literally had them years years and years and i've pinched two two pairs for my crafting and they're perfect absolutely perfect and i know there's another crafter i'm not sure now if it's i'm not sure i want to say it might be teen at shabby dabby doo -dah, but it could well not be that has a set of scissors from Ikea, which are very good. I love Ikea. I'd like to get back to Ikea now that the shops are all back to normal. Rachel, my daughter, youngest, said she wanted to go to Ikea. So I usually, I like to go with someone, to be honest. So that one's going to go in there. I don't want that. I think we might just put a bit of lace on the top of that one so let's find a bit of lace oh, my fingers are all glued up completely but nice piece of glue lace that would be nice i think I'm going to glue it again I, I'm not keen on staples so I will glue mine down and I think these are quite busy these this kit this whole kit and the ephemera so I don't want to go too mad with them so that's fine that's just right okay we're happy with that 
So that's the front pocket. And then this should be okay by now. So we'll give this an ink round. Like so. Not quite dry, still able to manipulate it. So that is that one to go in there. So that's going to be the front page that you see when you open the journal. So I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so let's have a look at the back. I just put my water pen back. Uh, time being right so we'll look at the back and we have this lovely tag and I'm I'm leaving the back as it is because it's that lovely color card I haven't inked around it just snip that bit of rough piece so I thought that would be quite nice let's have a look and see that is a bit small for the back isn't it So do we have anything bigger than that in here? We have these big journal cards which were a freebie by Calico Collage. That might be quite nice for change. We have these thin ones. Just about fit. We could put maybe a couple in there like that we have this lovely big one this bingo card which i think is taller let's have a look at that bingo <laughs> oh that's quite nice do i like that bingo card i don't know if i do <laughs> am i being a bingo card snob do you think <laughs> Maybe we'll use that one and perhaps have two in the back there. That's a piece that's got all feathers on, actually. It's upside down. And we could back that. Then we just want a small one to go in here. That's too tall. We have another one of these um, digital mandragoras. That's nice. We could have that one in there. And we've got this one here, which is very pretty. That's a free digital I got downloaded. That's nice. I like that actually. Take those out and have a look at that. Actually, I like that one best. I think I'm going to back those two next. Put these away now. So we want some more card. So we have got this piece of card still that we can use. And we'll use that's not big enough. Right, okay, might have used this card today. Okay, so let's put that to one side bits of glue everywhere and let's just give these some glue and get these stuck down and then we call it quits today for this episode and then I shall have a sit down and a ponder about how I want the front to look because I've got that wallpaper on the front which is absolutely beautiful and it's already um, very well I'm going to put down here easier to see very well patterned you know with a peacock um, design on it oh there's bits of glue where it's all coming off my hands good job it's dried Okay, I'm just going to go around there 
get that what edge off before we stick it down like that and we might have room to stick that up here nope we don't okay yeah so i'll have a sit down and a think about what i want to put on it get the get the things out and i will see if i can get that film today and put that up maybe Wednesday and then I've got another couple of episodes of the 52 week Marguerite Miller collage challenge to do and what else have we got well I think I think Dee Dee Farago's hashtag 2021 TCTC pocket jam just has finished because I I did yesterday's and that's I think that's going up today and that is going to that I had that down as episode 25 and Dee Dee had got it listed as episode 26. I thought, oh, have I missed one out? So I had a look on there and I could not see episode 25 on her channel. So I'll have another look. So I'm wondering whether she's just, just accidentally missed an episode number out. But it looks like she's moved on to other things. So I might send her a message and ask her if they... The challenge is over now because if it is it would be just in time for me to finish this peacock journal and start something new now i've got a few kind of ideas in my head i have a list of themes of journals i want to do but but i haven't got like a time scale i'm not putting myself under undue pressure they will I would just, I think I want to do them as and when I feel like doing them, if you know what I mean. Like, um, how can I put it? When I feel creative for that particular theme, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know if that's the right way of describing it, but I think you understand what I mean. Let's round this one. Just with a four millimeter, which is so tiny it's hardly discernible, but it's there. Just takes that edge, sharp edges off the corners. Okay, and let's edge these in blue again. But I'm gonna have to go and wash my hands when I finish this. Because they feel really grubby again. Oh, I hope my dog has come today. I've ordered a pack of two, I think they are. And hopefully they'll last a while this time. Well, the other one did. It's just that once the gluey, sticky bit goes, where you put the pad on, there's not really anything you can do because you can't remove that part of the head and you can't get replacements. I've had a look see had a look and I can't see any replacements you can get these replaced obviously you can get new dobber the whole thing but you can't get replacements for this part so it's this black piece here that is no longer as sticky as it was And so that whole thing is now defunct, really, unless I actually glue something on there as a permanent fixture. Right, so there, there we have those two, like that. Um, excuse my awful fingers. So again, we've got that one there, and we've got that one there. So we're going to put a bit of lace on this one. We're going to use the same lace.
like that. This is where you get messy with this beacon three in one. Luckily enough, it rubs off your fingers, but it's rubbing off and then the bits are going everywhere. So that needs to come over slightly. Try not to get that. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Just pop the top on that and we'll get a scrap piece of card. Now here's the other one that's only got a very faint little bit on the back and I'm going to make another tab I think that's about the same making things out of the bin that's what I should have called this episode. So those are going to go on there. Okay, that one slightly, slightly taller. Okay, that's fine. So this one, we, we can actually put it along the top because there isn't anything there. So I'm just picking glue off my fingers, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, so here's our little design, and here's our. So we want that middle piece like that. And I'll do it on here. And. That's that one. Have I done it on the right side? Oh, yes, I have. But that one was up the wrong way. So that could have been a bit dodgy. And just gently press down, trying not to move it, like so. And then where's our dobber? So that on there and I'm just going to gently take that cream dulling it down like that and then we want our glue and I'm going to take this piece first hope these are big enough these this time I want to put that down in the middle like that. And then we'll glue the back of that one. I'm going to try and pop that down like that. So. They are together. That's it, like that. That one's a bit crooked. Just get it to match the other one, that's fine. Okay, where's our clip? Let's put the lid on this and look for the clip. Did I put the clip back? Oh, there it is. I've got a whole pot full of clips, but okay, so we're going to wait for that to dry. So, this is it. Nice card in there, nice journal card there with a nice journal spot on the back, like so, with a nice little tab on two different tabs, but. 
I like that. So that's our piece now finished. So the front and the back page, inside pages are finished. Hooray! We're getting somewhere. <laughs> right. I need to get a new pack of um, wipes out when I finish this. So we are finished. Put that back over there. So there we have it. So take that off. Get our ink round. Like that. So there we have our finished front and back pages. So we have a nice tab like that on a nice journal card. And we have a nice little journal card there, another one there, and a bigger one at the back, which is lovely. I love that one. And that is finished, the front and back page. So we get our pages back. And we put that in. So I'm going to keep that as the front and that as the back inner page, like that. Now, now what we might do on there, um, we'll do something on here, put a pocket or something, and something on that one. We've got to have a look at the cover and see what we what we need to do with these pages if we need to cut some down because obviously they're going to be sticking out. I don't think I'll be doing much on there. Maybe something on there. We could put a little journaling spot there. We've got a pocket there and the same at the back. Yes, yeah, so we've got a lot more to do yet, but we've got a lot of ephemera and we've got all the things I made. Plus, I want to make some journal cards out of the, the collage board I made. So I was thinking I might split them into sections here and here, here and here, four sections and make maybe cut cut along here and make some journal cards and tags so we mustn't forget that we've got a nice pocket here from Janie B's journal and kit and that we haven't done anything with yet either but that could go into one of the side pockets so I was thinking that that could go when I make it up it could go into, where are we, uh, into here, could go into here, like that, but that would be nice. So then I have to think about sewing it in because at the moment it is, let's see, so two, four, six, eight. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, counting that, 48, 48 so double that so that's 80 96 it's 96 pages 96 sides counting the doilies it's going to get quite chunky i'm wondering may have to think about splitting it into two signatures i think yeah I'll have a look at that and see what I think. 
Right, okay, that's us done for today. So that's episode 9 of the Peacock Journal. And the next episode we will look at the cover. In the meantime, I will have a look at whether I'm splitting this into two signatures. And then we will have to decide what pages go in which signature and which features. Because I have this whole box full here of ephemera I've made for at various times and some of it is themed with the peacock journal in mind so you know we've got lots of tags here a flip more pockets not that obviously and not these they've just got put in there but yeah, we've got another card here. We can back some a two there, two tags. We've got that nice window flip that I made on another challenge. Some nice pockets for decorating up. Um, let's see, we've got these lovely ones that I made with the peacock journal in mind. So obviously, I, you know, I want to put at least two of those in. So there's a lot of things in here. There's this lovely piece. It grips out that I made and that's definitely going in so yes I think it might have to go into two signatures in order to accommodate some of these pieces I mean some of these pieces are made a long time ago from the hashtag 2021 TCTC challenge I mean I love this but this could go into any any journal so I have to be quite strict I think so there's another window there, but I've made that one to go into any journal. So I didn't make everything to go in here, you know. So, um, and then I've got bits in here that I bought from other people that have been made. So um, I may actually pluck up the courage to get my sewing machine out and sew around some of the pieces. So that's another thing I want to have a practice on because I haven't really looked at that for a long time. So there's another flip out there. But that again could go into any. So I do like that one. Yes, yeah, so I've got quite a bit of this is my stash so far. So I know it's nowhere near as big as anyone else's stash. But I like the pieces, they're all usable really. Just need decorating up some of them. So yeah, so we've got a few bits to do still. So I will say goodbye and I will see you again soon. So take care everyone. Be happy. Bye bye.